my beloved countrymen. I leave for a three-day official visit to Japan. This official visit will be a valuable opportunity to further deepen and broaden the Philippines' relationship with Japan, our valued strategic partner, and one of our true friends. It is a visit that is most awaited. I look forward to meeting Prime Minister Abe again in Tokyo. His warm invitation extended at the sidelines of the ASEAN meeting in Olaos paves the way for discussion of key issues of mutual importance to our countries and people. We will discuss, among others, greater political, social, and defense cooperation, particularly in maritime domain, awareness, and maritime security. With Japan as the Philippines' top trading partner, I shall seek the sustainment and further enhancement of our important economic ties. I look forward to meeting business leaders in Japan. I will tell them clearly that the Philippines is open for business. To support the Philippines' sustained growth and development, I shall seek to open more avenues of cooperation in key infrastructure development. In particular, we can tap the experience and expertise of Japan in developing high-quality and modern public transportation. The visit will be an opportunity for me to personally thank Japan for its preeminent and peerless role as the Philippines' development partner. I shall seek the strengthening of this role to more high-impact projects that will benefit our nation. Mindanao will be a central focus as together with Japan, we shall seek to put on track this island region's towards a just and lasting peace and development. I shall also meet the leaders of the Japan-Philippines Parliamentarian Friendship League to seek greater interaction between the collaboration by our legislators to a common agenda. This is an important time for Philippine-Japan relations as we advance an independent foreign policy in our engagement with the community of nations. This is a defining moment for the solid and strategic partnership between Japan and the Philippines, carefully nurtured over 600 years of formal diplomatic relations. During this visit, I am honored to pay a courtesy call on His Majesty the Emperor. This courtesy call is imbued with great and special significance. It reaffirms at the highest level the positive transformation of ties between our nations and peoples. It renews our shared commitment to a forward-looking partnership that is founded on mutual respect, dignity, and solidarity. It will capture in one moment the full range of our relations with a country that is kept at high regard and definitely deserves its unique place. Ours is an abiding partnership with Japan it is based on common aspirations and shared values of democracy, adherence to the rule of law, and the peaceful settlement of disputes. As I seek to advance our national interest in this official visit to Japan, 
I will remain true to my sworn oath as your president. Maraming salamat po. I can about a few questions Mr. from the media, so it's just to assuage your hunger for. Mr. President, our yes, first sir. question is from Hatao Rose Tobinario. Good morning, Mr. President. Yes, sir. Uh, Posible po bang pag-uusapan ninyo sa inyong pagbisita sa Japan ang visit visiting forces agreement with Japan? Again. Posible po bang pag-usapan niyo sa pagpunta niyo sa Japan yung pagbalangkas ng visiting forces agreement with Japan? No, I don't think so. I do not uh, I do not believe that we have a visiting forces agreement with Japan. To my mind, uh, I may be wrong. But I have yet to come across an agreement or a piece of paper which says that we are uh, in, in this arrangement of uh, Japanese troops, military troops, if you mean, visiting my country. As a matter of fact, I said in our, uh, it's section seven, I forgot the article, the constitution mandates that the government of the Republic of the Philippines shall pursue an independent foreign policy. And to that uh, extent, I would like to say this with all candor. I, I look forward for the ta to the time when I no longer see any military troops or soldiers in my country except the Filipino soldiers. Angarin ko po yan, na wala na ako makita ang sundalo sa ibang bayan, kundi yung sundalo ng Pilipinas. Thank you po. Uh, second question po. Sa napipinto po ninyong pagpunta sa APEC Summit sa November 19 to 20, sa palagay po ba ninyo ay mas maipapaliwanag ninyo ang inyong independent foreign policy at ang drug war na isinusulong po ng inyong administrasyon? Well, I said, uh, I do not have to dovetail what the policies of our countries are, and uh, especially in the matter of uh, uh, stationing of the military troops in my country. I really, I really hate it. I don't want it. We don't need it. We're not going to war, and there's, no, there's not going to be any war in the future. Thank you, Paul. Our yes, uh, uh, third question is from Makiko Segawa of TV Tokyo. Makiko Segawa. Thank you so much for accommodating. I'm Makiko Segawa. I um, represent TV Tokyo. Mm. And then, first question um, What emotion, what motivation, and feeling now you carry for Japan because you are about to leave for Narita Airport, Tokyo? And there's even as I take off today, this afternoon, just seeing you in my country asking questions is the beginning of a great expectations and joy. I go to Japan with full uh, trust that we can understand each other, and Japan will understand my position vis-a-vis -vis with the foreign policy that I want to implement. It's just a question of uh, a policy that is really truly Filipino. Thank you. And the second question is foreign. Like um, in Japan, the many media are talking about, about your diplomacy, um, attitude of diplomacy, if you are more for China or for Japan. And can you tell me the truth? Like if you like more Japan or you like more China? <laughs> okay. You understand. Can you Listen. translate? <laughs> Mr. President, she is asking if you love Japan more or you love China. Uh, between China and Japan, I think I love the Philippines more. Which, which do you like? Do you like a Jubilee or a McDonald's? <laughs> Jubilee or McDonald's? 
Uh, frankly, I do not eat uh, really, truly, you sell them very often. But I uh, stick to bibingka and maruya. <laughs> Native uh, dish. Thank you. The last uh, person who will ask a question is Tuesday New of DZWB. What is that? Good morning, Mr. President. Tuesday yes, no. New of DZWB. Sir General De La Rosa uh, stated uh, yesterday that uh, he submitted already to you the list of uh, celebrity or narco celebrities. And he said that uh, mas marami raw po yung nakasulat sa listahan ninyo. Do you plan of uh, announcing it sir, uh, to the public, katulad ng ginawa ninyo doon sa mga narco generals and narco politicians? Okay, I'll be frank with you, everybody. The final list submitted to me by the law enforcement agencies, ganon ho kakapal. Hindi ko malaman ngayon kung paano ko mahanapan ng solusyon. This take, there are about a thousand policemen involved in drugs, there are about almost a thousand barangay captains already in the business of Shabu. There are about a few mayors and uh, national officials. What I'm trying to say is I will call maybe for a consensus dito sa itaas lahat na mga senators, congressmen kasi napakabigat to ng problema na ito at kung ako lang sasabihin ko sa hindi ko kaya kasi hindi ko kaya uh, I mean anong gawin ko dito? Patayin ko lahat? At may na naman 3,000. It's about almost uh, a 10,000 network spread all throughout the Philippines. And with the election of the Lima to the Senate using money from drugs, the portals of the national government has been opened to narco politics. My problema ho ang Pilipinas. Ito yung problema nakatago noon all these years and until I became president at pinuga ko lahat, lumabas na. Alam ng military yan, alam na ng polis. Kaya sabi ko nga sa kanila minsan, o oh, ito, trabaho man ninyo yan, what do you propose to do? Isa-isahin mo yan i-prosecute impossible dream. We cannot pasundan mo araw-araw yan. But they are really validated. Some of them judges, it's, uh, it has affected the entire gamot. Di ko tala ni ako, sanay ako niyan. Kung sa Davao, maliit na ano, but mismo ako I must admit, hindi ko alam gaano kalawak how widespread it is or was until I became the president of this country. Di ko sukat akalain na ganun kalalim by the hundreds of thousands. And three years ago, General Santiago said that there are three million drug addicts already. I did not consider my list because until now there are people surrendering. At by the end of this year, I would have breached the four million mark. Eh, ang Indonesia, sabi ni President Widodo, they have four million. But remember that Indonesia is a big country. It's about three, two islands, big islands. 
and it has a population of 240 million. Ang akin, is maliit na island, 7,000 pieces of islands, and uh, I have 130, no, 110 rather, population, with a 4 million headache. Tulungan ninyo, yung, yung ay, ayoko, anong, anong gawin natin dyan? Ang pinakamabilis na mga rehab ang nagawa ang China. One is in Fort Magsaysay, it can house 10,000. Another Chinese foundation is building like another 20,000 in Mindanao. But for the million that would be needing treatment, else they go back to where they belong. And that is using and pushing Shabu. The problem is, uh, until now, regions one, two, and three, araw-araw may uh, swept uh, like a float some mga, mga caldero, mga aluminum na may sibo. Those were manufactured niluloto in ships in international waters. Then kung ready na sila, they just go by the side of the our territorial limits at inuhulog nila. Ganon kabigat ang problema ng Pilipinas. Four million will affect certainly this generation. Itong generation na to, yung anak ninyo, pati yung apo ninyo, may tama yan if you are not careful. And only if you are there to guard them every moment of their lives until they are responsible enough to know what is fundamentally wrong. For after all, Shabu has infected even soldiers and doctors and uh, lawyers. Ganon kabigat ang problema. And, uh, you know, I, 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 I had a talk with... Uh, and I agreed to just shut up. I don't know why, but uh, I had a talk with Secretary Yasai. And here's a guy. His name is uh, Russell. If you can just tone down our rhetorics. Alam mo, hindi ako nag-una na itong away na to eh. Ang nag-una sila, remember, ipunot dulo nito, ano, yung election, I made a comment, a narration of an actual event which happened in Dabao, and which was covered by all uh, media out there. Tapos, the ambassador said something not very nice. You are not supposed to do that. Because in an election of another country, you should be careful with your mouth. I reacted into it, and it started to go out of control until they threatened me with imprisonment because of human rights violation. And most of all, bakit ako nagmura? Just to show na bastos rin ako. Alam mo bakit? They were threatening me because it was an issue. It was a yellow fever issue. Sa election. It was not an issue against me. In the early days of the campaign, when, when I was hitting hard sa rating, and then there was this looming, well, they started the hogwash. A senator was foot is in his mouth. Eh, good for nothing. Tapos, sila ang nag-umpisa na be careful lumabas yung Human Rights State Department Obama EU. Ginanon ako and every time they said we will cut our assistance. Sabi ko sa kanila, putang ina ninyo 
Huwag mo kaming gawing aso. Do not, you know, sabihin mo na, at, as if you, I am a dog with a leash, tapos magtapon ka ng pan doon sa malayo, hindi ko maabot. Sila yung, you review. All that I did was, alam mo bakit? Hindi, walang nakikinig. I was trying to say na ganito, ganito. That hindi yung 3,000 na yan, mga ulol kayo, hindi lahat gobyerno yan. May pinatay ng gobyerno on legitimate encounters. But it doesn't mean to say that the 3,000, parang pinalabas nila na wala na ginawang gobyerno except to yung state-sponsored killing. Binastos ang bayan ko. Hindi ako, sanay ako, politiko ako. And so what if hindi sila believe sa akin? Hindi naman ako believe sa kanila. What yung pagsabi every time that they make a comment about human rights, which is really sinasakyan ng mga gago dito, pinapalaki nila. Maybe itong ilit, pati itong mga mayaman sa mundong ito dito sa Pilipinas, ayaw sa akin. E let's say kayo, ayaw ko rin sa inyo. Eh... Kahapon, tumawag si Secretary Yasay. Nandito raw ito siya. Ang sabi ni... Nag-usap daw sila, sabi na, if we can just tone down our rhetoric against the men. So, huwag ninyo akong ganunin. Every time, sabi hindi, threaten us lang, pati itong iyo. Akala mo, mas bright kay sa atin. Tapos sabi na, be careful, we will put you in prison. Utang inasubukan mo. Now, what did I do to China? I went there just being nice. O, tingnan mo ang lumabas. Duterte Sparks International Dress. Ito, nakaliit-liit kung tao mo at mag-stress. Nervyoso kayo. Kasi guilty. Wala man akong ginawa sa China. Nag-usap kami. And so there's a lot of speculation. Sabi ko, look at uh, Section 7 article. Uh, it states it very clearly. I urge every one of you that the Philippines shall follow an independent foreign policy and putting at most of the time the best interest of the nation. Sinunod ko lang yun. nervioso. Duterte Sparking International Distress. Oh, pakialam ko sa Afrika. International. Yun. Ang, ayaw ko na sana. Pero nung nabasa ko ngayong umaga, I, I promise the Secretary, I won't. Nung nabasa, sabi ko ito mga Amerikano, buang talaga. Ano yung style? Kita nga maglaka dito, kala mo sino? Wala pang mga bisa itong mga gagong to. Tayo magpunta doon, pahirapan pa. At may sabi pa raw, galit ako kasi hindi ako kumuha, hindi ako binigyan ng visa. I'll tell you my answer. First time I went to America, ito ang question ng consul. Why are you going to America? I said to visit a girlfriend. Yeah, yes. Tapos sabi niya, what if you decide to marry the girlfriend and you do not go back here? Kung Mr. Consul, even if you grant me a multiple lifetime visa, and even if you give me $50,000, I will not go there anymore. I'll stay here in the Philippines. Hindi ako hangul ng bayan na baske gago, kahirap natin. Hindi, magtiis tayo. Do not dangle me about America. What is that? Nagkagulo-gulo na nga kayo doon eh. Why should you go there? Magtanong ka ng mga Pilipino doon, mga doktor. Tanong ka ng mga sundalo na nag-aral doon. It's pure bigotry and discrimination doon. Magtanong ka na napunta ng... Kasi bayan nila. Kaya sabi niya, separate. 
Well, separate, yes. You have the Ilka. Well, forget it. If I stay here long enough, one day that Edka will, if, the, if it's an executive agreement, then I will just. I do not want to see any military man of any other nation except the Philippine soldier. Yan lang ang gusto ko. That's the long and short of it. I want an independent policy that I'll pass on to North Basie Canino. Walang, sabi ko, wala na, tahimik na ako. Russell says, the 30 comments causing worries in business communities. Di, magsilasilay kayo. Magtiis kami. We will recover, I assure you. We will live and survive. We have gone to the worst of times in this uh, planet. Tapos, isang comment niya, RP China reapproachment should not come at the expense of the U.S. Napaka-bilis ng Malaysia na mga gago. Wala kami pag-unasapan sa China kung hindi paano magluto ng siupaw na maganda pati chapsoy. Eh kung maibigay ang China, di pasalamat. Eh di wala, di wag. Ito naman, Goldberg says, U.S. remains strongly committed to the defense of the Philippines. There will be no wars anymore. Sino ba ipapagagira sa atin? China? What will they get? Japan? An anong defense? Baka... They want to talk about the boogie of, boogeyman of war. Stop that shit. Nobody is interested in wars anymore. And if there is a fight, you fight your wars. Do not include mine. During the time when Manila was to be taken back by the Allies, they carpet bomb Manila. Hindi ang hapon sila. The comebacking American forces. 200,000 died here. Ang Manila talaga flattened. So just in two days of bombing. Plus the massacre. You know, before we can move forward, uh, Mr. America, there are things, uh, so many things. Around. The massacre of the Filipinos before. These are historical hurts that would never go away. Depende na lang kung makapresidente ang pre -pre -pre Pilipinas na tota ninyo. If you count me out, I am not one of you. I am not also a tota of any country. Mind you, only ang maging ang, ang pwede lang magtota sa akin ang Pilipino. Period. Walang iba. So, that's my parting statement. Yes. Pag hindi ako pinaland ng Japan, balikan kita dito. Yes. Just to complete, sir, yung, yung thought nyo about EDCA, um, are you close to rescinding it? Because you mentioned that you, you want to see nobody except the Filipino soldiers on, the, well, on our soil. Well, ito, pumunta itong... Maybe to talk to me. Dito, mag-usap kami. Yan, dalawa lang kami. Isang kwarto. I don't want anybody else. Gusto ninyo, mag-ganoon kayo sa plywood. Pakinggan ninyo kung paano ko. Sige, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. President. Thank you so much, media. Let us all greet our president.